Good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing today? I'm filming this on Monday, June 12th. My name is Paulette, and this is my vlog about what I eat in a day on the ketogenic diet. <clears throat> I also do intermittent fasting. Uh, so, today is busy day for me. Uh, I go back to work tomorrow after I've been off for about 10 days, give or take, 10 business days. Um, so, but today I get to do a couple of things, not necessarily fun. One is a state program up uh, that they're rolling out and, uh, I'm becoming involved in this because of my son who is autistic. So, uh, I don't know that I would call that fun. <laughs> it's five hours, <laughs> five hours. Okay. Anyway, what am I having for breakfast today? This is what I'm having for breakfast today. Okay, I do follow the keto program or plan, food plan. Uh, I do like coffee, but I'm not a huge fan of coffee. And I make myself bulletproof tea. This is cocoa caramel sea salt tea with mint tea in it. So it's kind of like chocolate mint tea. Uh, then I put a tablespoon of coconut oil, a tablespoon of butter, some potassium, and some stevia in it. Um, kinda tastes like chocolate mint, um, you know, cocoa, you know, hot chocolate. It's kinda what it tastes like. So, uh, it's going to be smoking hot today. Currently I'm in air conditioning. I will be in air conditioning most of the day, so I'm going to drink this. Try not to drink hot stuff on hot days, but I haven't figured out how to ice this down. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, so that's it for now. Today should be an interesting day. I have a business event tonight, so we'll see how it goes. I'll see you later. Hey there YouTube, it is 7.20, I am back uh, from my event this evening. Uh, so the first picture you saw was what I had for lunch, which was um, four ounces of turkey and a couple ounces of American cheese, because <clears throat> we didn't have lunch for us, so I just stopped at the local deli and got some. And then the second picture you saw was the hors d'oeuvres that I had at my event tonight. I forgot to take a picture of the main course, which the main course I had was prime rib and chicken. And I got some green beans, but I only ate one because they didn't cook them. I don't like that. I don't like that where they just blanch them. That's it. Well, I, I like my green beans cooked, so I didn't eat them. Uh, and then I did something mildly stupid yeah uh they had these little desserts there they were about one inch square and i had three yeah but i consider that a win for two reasons first reason is because they actually had actual slices of cake and pie and stuff like that so these little tiny ones those three together were like one third of the slice of cake or whatever. It wasn't anywhere close to that size. And the second reason is, <clears throat> in my crazy little brain, I was like, oh, you went off. We should stop at the store and get some more sugar stuff. And I actually sort of drove close to the store, but I didn't. I didn't stop at the store. I didn't drive the direction of the store sort of was in the vicinity but not quite the actual I didn't actually drive by I don't know if I would have kept I don't know if I'd have gone in or not if I'd have actually drove on the street but I didn't I came home so I feel like that's kind of a win okay so overall eh, as far as you know eh, I checked my ketones earlier today and I was in ketosis pretty sure I'm not now because of the sugar <sighs> or however long it takes so um but i'm gonna be back on track tomorrow i got my lunch ready so know what i'm having as far as the intermittent fasting my window of eating was six hours 12, 30, 6, 30. 
yeah, probably six, six and a half hours, roughly. No, I'd say six. Yeah, so that wasn't too bad. Um, so 18 hours and six hours of eating, I feel that's pretty good. So that's it for today. I'm actually feeling a little full. Another reason that I didn't stop off and that makes me happy. So I would say, uh, let me know how you're doing and uh, I will see you tomorrow.